Do you guys remember Gamefly? It was like the Netflix of gaming back when Netflix would send you movies. Uh, Gamefly would send you games. They're actually still around, but I feel like people don't really talk about them, don't really think about them, which is honestly super surprising to me that people forget about it because it's a great way to save money, and this is going to sound like an ad, but I did a little experiment. There was a ton of games I wanted to get to last year that I didn't get around to just because they were too expensive or they never went on sale. Uh, so I decided to get Gamefly for one month to see uh, how much money I could actually save by getting these games that I probably would have got anyways. So I decided to do the two games at a time plan for $22.95 a month. Um, so they will send you two games at any point. You will have uh, two games to play. Uh, and every time you send one back, they'll send you another. It goes back and forth easy peasy. Little caveat to all this. Uh, I have been a longtime member of Gamefly. Uh, the last time I got games was like 2017. So it's been a while. But because my account has been so long standing, uh, I am entitled to this thing called a fast return which essentially is they trust me enough to say, hey, I put the game in the mail, so send me a new game right away. So uh, usually uh, if I put it in the mailbox, I'll get sent a game uh, the day of or the day after, um, as opposed to waiting for it to get shipped. So my games came a little quicker than usual. My list was mostly made up of games that came out within the previous year. Uh, I did have some pre-order titles, so games that haven't come out yet. And I also had some games from way farther back. Uh, and as you'll see, there were a handful of new releases that got sent to me day one. Okay, I made you guys wait long enough. So I'm going to show you the results, the games I got, the prices that they go for, how much total money I saved, and then pros and cons at the end of all this. So check it out. One last thing, I did beat all of these games minus one, uh, One Piece Odyssey, because I'll be honest, I just got bored with it. Uh, but all these games were finished, so I got my full value out of them as much as one would if you did the campaigns. Yeah. So in total, I spent $22.95 to get $560 worth of games. That's a lot of gaming. Technically, Dead Space and Martha's Dead haven't showed up yet, but it fell within that one month uh, time frame, so I'm going to count them. Personally, I find the two games at a time to be the most bang for your buck. Uh, as you finish up a game, you can send it out and start a new one, and you kind of got a good flow going. One game at a time is okay, but it just takes a while to get those games. So uh, if you're trying to get the, the most out of it, and you're relatively quick at finishing games, Two games at a time is the way to go. As for cons, uh, they never really sent any of my top level games. Um, they were kind of more popular. I did The Last of Us, Dead Space, they actually just sent. So just be aware, you know, your list, they're going to grab all over the place. Overall, a great experience. Feel free to ask me any questions. I'm more than happy to answer. But uh, Gamefly, absolutely worth it.